guys, here it is. The number one game for me. And if you've noticed, it's Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario if you knew, I didn't review this game, or none of you basically knew it. I had it in my collection. But if you knew, you could have possibly guessed this was going to be number one. But now let's start. Okay, first I'm going to say that there is no possible way to, like, describe this game. Like, n I, I can't explain how good it is. The graphics are amazing. Even, like, I know the Wii, everything is going to be great, the graphics. But, like, this is huge for Mario. So, now we'll start. And here, we can choose a file. I'm not going to make a new one because you have to go through a store in the beginning. But let's go to me. I beat the game over here. But over here, you see, there's a crown. There are these little stars and this little tiny star bits here. Okay, um, this means I beat the game, I think. Those are stars that start time 61. There are 120 levels in the game. And each level you beat, there's um a, you get a star. But you only need 60 um, to beat the whole game, but if you get all 120, you get a surprise to play as Luigi, um, then those are star bits, they're used to unlock secret levels, but now let's start, because I'm not really going to review, I'm just going to show you how I got amazed like crazy, and if you didn't notice, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is coming, so... I didn't play since I all uh, won. So here, um, so I need 59 more, I think, to get to beat the whole game, like to get every all 120. But for now, this is the observatory where you're gonna go to all different levels. <clears throat> and right now, I'm gonna go to the first level to show you the first. And it's amazing how long this game is. The length of it is amazing. And if you haven't been surprised already by the graphics, you'll see later. And I'm not going to go through controls or everything. And I hope you can um replay levels. I think Good Egg is the first one, if I'm right. Yeah, I think so. So I haven't played this in a while since I beat it. And I don't know if the full effect of the graphics is coming, like, to this, and, oh boy, okay, I can't do that level. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good luck for me. But let's try to go to another level. Let's go to Honey. But yeah, I don't know if you're getting the full effect of the graphics from here, but it's amazing on the TV. So here, B Mario takes flight. And this is, I think, the fourth level in the game, yes. Well, you don't have to play them in a certain order. But here, look at this. This is amazing. Remember that old Mario game you used to play back way back then on the NES? Well, I didn't because I'm not that old. Oh. But I, I'm sure, I, I don't think you're taking the full effect. But just go buy this game no matter what. I'm just, just go buy it right now after this review. Don't even think about it. It's a high price tag for 50, but just go get it. I don't care. Just go get this game right now. Well, after this review. Okay, so that's a mushroom, and it's gonna turn him to B Mario, which is a new power up in this game. B Mario can fly, but it, he can fly and all that good stuff, uh, but he can't touch water. We'll go back to normal Mario. And that's a black hole, which is like an immediate loss. And actually, what I like about this game is, unlike the old games where you just have one life, um, you, um, instead of just having one life, you, uh, have three, and then you lose. And to fly, you just hold the A button, you don't do anything else. And you can't get hit, if I'm right, or you can't touch water. It's both, I think. And you only have a certain time li limit to fly until you have to touch the ground again. And this is nice, you get to slide here. And that was just in case if you lost it. Um, while touching water there. Okay, here. And now when you're B Mario, you can touch, um, flowers. When you're normal, you can't. They'll just fall. So 
so yeah, we don't want to fall in there. But sometimes later in this game, it gets really frustrating. And that year you shake the Wii Remote and you fly off. I think the only bad thing is that they don't have multiplayer for this. That's amazing how they made a game this good without multiplayer. Like someone else could play as Luigi, second player. But uh, no, you get to play as Luigi later, as I said, if you beat the whole game. Like 100%. I don't know if I'm going to get to this whole level because the levels are pretty long. And now there are sprinklers here, so we have to watch out. Try to get the farthest I can. At the end, you have to collect the star um, to win. And here you can climb on the honeycombs, or whatever they're called. Got that name from the cereal. Oh, that's bad. See, and when you destroy them, um, they can leave a secret. And that's the queen bee, you have to help her. And the storyline is also entertaining. So now you have to like go destroy, you have to get all the star bits off her. Yeah, I know it sounds really weird, but. <laughs> and you should just do it just to win this level. And actually, uh, yeah, I can't wait for the second game to come out. It's coming soon. I think March this year. <laughs> so there. Um, I think that's, uh, that's gonna take you to the end of the level or the rest of it. As I said, the levels are pretty long later. And they're gonna get really, really hard. Trust me. This is, this is a game. Like, if you think this isn't going to be a challenge, then, like, I don't know. I say this is a big challenge. And now Toad comes. Yeah, they're all in this game. Later Luigi comes. Like, not play as him, but... There we go. That's the end of the level. He collected the power- he collects the power star. And I don't think it's a real one, because I already collected it for this level, and here it's gray. So, um, now he's gonna fly back to the observatory and get this star. Ooh. Yeah. See, I didn't get anything. I just wanted to show you, so, yeah, here I'll save the game. And, um, <clears throat> that's really it for Super Mario Galaxy. And let's review again. The tenth game was Link's Crossbow Training. The ninth game was... Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, <clears throat> the first one. The eighth game was Cooking Mama World Kitchen. The seventh was, I think, yeah, Raymond Raving Grabbage. The sixth was uh, uh, Trauma Center New Blood. The fifth was, um, what do you call it? Oh, The Simpsons Game. The fourth was The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. The third was we fit the second was super uh smash bros raw and the first is super mario galaxy i hope you enjoyed this review and stay tuned for some surprising reviews later thanks and